Well, it's 9 p.m. and uh, I'm going to try to work on the horse's head a little bit uh, for this uh, horse right here. Not sure how good you can see what I'm doing because I can't really see the uh, camera's eye uh, viewfinder right now. But uh, I'll do the best I can. I saw a movie today that uh, on Netflix that really inspired me, and I wish I could remember the name of it. It's it's a new one. Uh, Antonio Banderas is in it. He plays a uh, archaeologist back in the 1870s, and. Uh, a uh, shepherd's dog got lost in a uh, cave that have, had not been known before because thousands of years ago that cave was buried in a rock slide. And it's a true story. And uh, his daughter The uh, Banderas character's daughter has been learning a little bit about archaeology from her dad, who's taken her out on little digs and stuff like that, I guess. Well, she gets adventurous and goes into the cave without his permission, with just nothing but a lamp, lantern, she goes deep into the cave and all of a sudden on the ceiling of the cave are amazing paintings of buffalo and deer and bison and stuff like that. Now they thought it was 10,000 years old, but in reality after research and as time went by and they were the ability to figure out the age of something through uh, carbon dating, they found that the paintings were actually 35,000 years ago. And they, it, the movie was basically him trying to prove what he found was real and uh, was not made up. And uh, at that time, in Spain, where he's from, and where the cave was found, the Catholic Church was dominant, and uh, any contradiction to Adam and Eve was bad. Well, I don't think archaeology proves one way or another that Adam and Eve didn't exist. I, I believe everything that we find is true. I just believe Adam and Eve were the first enlightened humans to be given a law from God. That's my opinion, though. It doesn't necessarily match everybody else's opinion. But what that movie did was inspired me to create because the daughter mentions to an artist who was hired to go in the cave and draw what he saw, 
because they didn't have the ability to photograph it. And uh, the daughter said something very profound to that artist. He said, she said, just imagine it might be your ancestors who did those drawings. Your great, 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 way back grandfathers did that. And that got me too because I thought that too. I mean, I've inherited this ability and I've often wondered if it wasn't an ability that uh, was inherited from ancestors who were some of the first artists. It could very well be. That was a good, well-made movie. I just, I'll try to put the uh, name of the movie down below here. Alright, let's see if I can get this on the uh, horses. There we go. A lot of this will change and improve as I put mane and hair on. It's not supposed to be perfect. I think that's about all I'm going to be able to do tonight because my eyes are really tired. tail is going to go right over the front of that leg. I think I'd like to make a small hoof. Much better. Sorry you can't see me putting it on, but there's a limit to how good my camera work is when you've got no hands to do it. There. I got a feeling to 
behind it. Well, everybody have a great Sunday, and uh, I'll see you next time. I got three more heads to do, and then I can start doing the mains and tails, and hope I don't don't screw this up in the long run. Give me a thumbs up and share my video, and then check out my instructional DVDs. Uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.